Hey guys, welcome to Happy Reading Stories. The Nonsense Show, written by Eric Carl. Welcome friends, don't be slow. Step right up to the Nonsense Show. I'm too wet, said the bird. I can't fly, it's absurd. I'm too dry, how I wish I could swim, said the fish. Ouch! Who is that in my pouch? I'm seeking my tail. Can you see where it's gone? Hissed snake number one. What a coincidence! Mine is missing too. Hissed snake number two. I'm supposed to catch you. Meow the cat. Yes, squeak the mouse. Of course, that's true. But you must know we are in a nonsense show. Oh dear, look here. It says no gas. Alas, no gas? Don't worry, we are not in a hurry. What a funny looking ball, thought the tennis ace and wound up with apple sauce in her face. One sheep, two sheep, three sheep, four, and after that, how many more? Zzzz. Okay, oh, okay. Get out of my house, said the dog. But where can I go? barked the man. For all that I care, you can fly to the moon, but go soon. And that's why we have now got a man in the moon. Believe it or not. Upsy, downsy, nice and straight, smile a mile. Bravo, that's great. Who is that I see? It can't be me. I'll tell you who it looks like. You. Let's trade hats, the rider said. But, <laughs> said the horse. Let's trade hats instead, okay? And so they did, of course. Hurry up, said Bottom. Wait for me, said Top. But they couldn't agree, so they never did stop. Could a leopard change his spot to a tigerish stripe? Probably not. Would a tiger wish to swap his stripe for a leopard spot? Certainly not. Why is Mr. Up Up? Why is Mrs. Down Down? It's not a mistake. It's just how they eat cake. This yellow rubber duck I found has feet for walking on the ground. But don't you think that this duck ought to get fat feet to swim in water? The end. This story was definitely a nonsense story. It was baloney, fiddle faddle, humbug. It's strange, it's ridiculous, out of place. Twaddle, gobbled goo, hogwash, funny, and it's weird. Thanks for watching, guys.